Today I'm going to read um, a section of Little Dreamers, Visionary Woman from Around the World. And this is about a woman named Calypso Rose. There's a picture of her. And she is a Calypso singer in Trinidad and Tobago. Macartha Linda Sandy Lewis was born on Tobago, the smaller of the two islands that make up the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Although a tiny nation in the Caribbean, it has had a huge impact on the world of music as the birthplace of Calypso. With strong folkloric roots, Calypso music has always reflected the people's lives and struggles, but it is defined by its upbeat rhythm and vibe. Every year in the Caribbean, the music and dance celebration known as Carnival takes place. This is where Rose made her name. Despite growing up, with a pronounced stutter and a father who did not approve of the carnival scene, Rose was drawn to it. In 1955, at the age of 15, Rose wrote her first song, Glass Thief, inspired by real events. It was one of the first Calypso songs to focus on the unjust treatment of women. Calypso had long been defi defined by its most famous male performers, and many made their name by winning the biggest competition around, the Calypso King held at the annual Carnival celebrations. In 1963, Rose entered the competition, performed her hit song, Cooperation, and won the title of Calypso King for the year. No woman had ever won. So the title had never been considered exclusionary. A few years later, Rose won again and again. In 1978, the organizers of Carnival changed the name to Calypso Monarch, paving the way for more girls to enter the competition. Rose's name had become synonymous with Calypso. She had written more than 800 songs and re has recorded more than 20 albums. All along her journey, she has broken down barriers and defied expectations and she has been widely recognized for bringing a strong female perspective into the world of Calypso and using her music as a voice for women in the Caribbean. She was born in 1940, and it um, looks like maybe she's still alive. I haven't done much research on her, but um, when the book was published, she was still alive. 